This was the eureka moment. This molecular test for COVID-19 showed results in just 40 minutes. We have been able to detect the genetic material from a virus coming from a Peruvian patient, and we did it with a real sample. So this is sort of the proof of concept that the method works in this country. It's a Peruvian solution to a Peruvian problem. The pandemic caught the country unprepared. At the outset, Peru struggled to do enough COVID-19 tests. When the epidemic arrived in our country, we had a limited capacity to do molecular diagnostics. We had just one laboratory at the National Health Institute, which was able to process 500 tests a day in the whole country. Just one laboratory for 33 million people. Peru has since upped its capacity to 6,000 tests a day and has carried out more than 1.5 million antibody tests. But it's relied heavily on donations from China and other countries. Meanwhile, Malaga and his team had been working on a different project. The team of scientists were studying a way to treat Alzheimer's using these zebrafish when the pandemic struck. They quickly turned their talents to developing a molecular test for COVID-19 and they got results in record time. For the biology students working with Malaga, it's been a roller coaster ride. Two weeks ago, we started working here, 12 hours a day, and last week we got the prototype result, and it was really exciting. Having planned the test for two months, then to see it in the reactive strips was amazing. But it's also been a painful journey. Angelica Quintana comes from one of the country's hardest hit regions. Personally, two weeks ago, I lost several members of my family in Piura. It was a difficult moment when I doubted what I was doing here. I thought I could be helping my family, my father, my mother, my uncles and aunts. But here I can help many more people. That's the impact we will have on what we are doing here. The team is now waiting for its prototype to be approved by the health ministry, then mass-produced and distributed at a cost of around $35 each. All the preparations and the funding and the bureaucracy took about two months until we finally could enter the lab, you know, and lock ourselves in and start working. And that period of time took just basically two weeks. In a country where scientific research is underfunded and often underappreciated, they're showing that scientists are the new rock stars. Dan Collins, CGTN, Lima.